Yo, what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Teflon Perp. I know it's been a while, but real quick, I wanted to come back and give you guys a little quick tutorial. Feel me on the issue that I had. I see that a lot of people in the community are having the same problem after the GTA 5 update. So I finally figured out a solution after just scratching my head for like over a week. So I was just like, man, I gotta pass on the knowledge. If I figure out how to do, I need to pass it on. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So this is how to downgrade GTA. Now this is not for Steam. This is not for Epic Games. This is only for those who have Rockstar Launcher. There are other, there are similar ways to do it for the Steam and Epic Game versions. I recommend you guys check out video, like other videos like that. Just search it up. But um, I had the Rockstar Launcher version, and I couldn't find many videos on that. So this is the method I'm going to share. So what you want to do in there, you see I got my main directory GTA 5 up. All you want to do is you want to download the zip that I have in the description. And when you download it, you should see something like this, the Steam downgrade. This is how we're going to down, downgrade a game, right? And by the way, uh, yeah, this is how we're going to downgrade our game. So what you want to do is you want to take these four files right here and you want to drop them over. Now you want to replace yes, click yes, replace the files in destination. I already did that, so I'm not gonna do it again. But you guys definitely do that. And then after that, what you want to do is you want to go to the update folder. See where it says update RPF. Well, you want to go into your folder, or into your GTA main directory update folder, right here, and you want to drag and drop that too. Now here's the thing: some of y'all may have um, two update, like it may say update.rpf, and then another one say update two dot rpf delete the one that says update two that's important so please delete the one that says update two and you'll be good on that and then after that what you want to do is you want to open up your rockstar game launcher now this is important all right so make sure you open it up you want to go to your settings you guys got to do this step all right so make sure you do the step go to settings and then you're going to see where you click GTA and then you're going to see where it says enable automatic updates. You want to make sure that is unchecked so that whenever you load up the game it doesn't automatically update it for you because again, we are downgrading the game. That's how we're going to get it working. You feel me? So, now that you got that done, I'm going to teach you guys how to launch it, all right? You guys are not going to use Rockstar Launcher to launch the game anymore. I repeat, do not use the actual launcher to launch the game. You want to go to your main directory, go to gta5.exe, and then run as administrator every single time. And then when you run it, that it should load up. But this tutorial helped y'all. Then please smash that like button. It's been a minute. Show me the love and support. I got y'all. You feel me? Because I know it took me a long time to figure out this method. So please, if it helped you, please subscribe or at least hit that like button. It, it really does encourage me. And other than that, I'm going to catch you guys next time. Teflon Perk.